made it. With a casualty. My black leather jacket is gone. But that's not what's important here. Um, let, 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 let's talk about it. Um, so basically... Actually, hang on. I'm going to make the bed first. A few minutes later. But anyway, my flight was 13 hours from Minneapolis to Haneda. It was going to be long, right? I had no idea how long it was going to be. So first off, what I, um, I, I pulled an all-nighter before my flights because I'm like, oh, then I'm actually going to sleep on the plane, right? Right. Technically, I was right. I did sleep. I got like... I can't measure how much sleep I got. I it was, there were too many things waking me up, like screaming child. Oh my God. There was a, a little terror on that flight that woke me up like almost every hour on the nose. It was stupid. And this, and this child's parents are clearly not helping. They're not doing anything to shut the baby up, to <laughs> put it less kindly, I guess, but my, um, there was turbulence, like, that first hour, it was really bad turbulence, like, if we weren't in a plane, I would think there were an earthquake, and there were, like, three casualties, so it was, um, not that great, and I, I fell asleep, and I woke up, and I fell asleep, and I woke up, and I fell asleep, and I woke up, and after, like, eight hours there were only a few hours left in the play i'm like i'm just gonna stay awake and then i did and it was fine but customs and um immigration in haneda i'm gonna fight i'm gonna fight customs in haneda it's so chaotic like i was in customs for two hours i was in immigration for two hours it was a nightmare, but we made it through, and now we're here. My veranda's open. It's a lovely evening. It's like this is crooked. Anyway, it's like sixty degrees right now outside, which is really nice. So I'm gonna keep the veranda open, and I'm gonna unpack. Because I've got a long way to go, so. Okay, so I totally forgot to wear a microphone for this part of the episode. So we're just going to do a voiceover. Um, basically, what I'm saying here is that I finished unpacking and then I went to Family Mart with a friend that I made through the group chat. Because we both needed food. Because we were ravished. And so, uh, this is just, this is the haul from Family Mart. Yeah, so I got two microwave meals. The first one is tonkatsu curry. Um, tonkatsu is fried pork cutlet. And then the second one, wait for it. It's ramen. I'm so excited to have that one. I haven't had it yet. This is just ramen and candy. Orange juice for the morning and a teeny tiny 100 yen soda because it was, that's like 63 cents, so why not? Alright, so that was the first day. It wasn't obviously very eventful, but um... I'm I'm crashing. My back hurts. I'm 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 gonna go to bed. Um. So.
I can't talk. Okay. So, uh, me and a couple of my friends, Kaylee and Bianca, we went out to um, just go shopping and pick up some essentials and some groceries. Um, we stopped back a little while ago to drop off our groceries because they gave us these like super thin bags that just they weren't working for what we needed so we came back and we put stuff in the fridge and then me and bianca went to the like a house home goods basically japanese home goods and um i got you know some boring stuff like a laundry basket and hangers but i did find house slippers um that are very soft and they're very cheap so and oh they actually fit i didn't think they would <laughs> um and then this little cup because it's cute we have this little cup that you can put your toothbrush in and then this teeny tiny little I, I don't know what this is. I know you use it for like espresso or cream or, or something, but it's cute. And I can put little things in it. So it's sticking around. But um, I'm gonna go heat up lunch because I haven't eaten really any real food all day and I'm hungry. And I have orientation in just over an hour so i should probably eat but yeah that's that's what we're up to hmm. itadakimasu Heated up a little more, but that's okay. I have returned from my second orientation. I did not think that that was going to be uh, almost four and a half hours long. But we went to a karaoke bar for our orientation. Not like we weren't doing karaoke. It was just like a, an aesthetically pleasing place that was um, that could reserve a room. And then uh, we went to like a, I don't know what the kind of place is called, but it's like a small plate that they would just keep bringing out to the table and it was like a communal thing. But uh, I didn't realize that was a two hour reservation. So I'm, I'm so tired. Um, I'm gonna take a shower and go to bed. After 10, I am going to go downstairs here in a couple minutes and meet with a friend to go to the station so I can get a, uh, a day pass for the subways because I am going to Shibuya later, I think. So I'm going to go do that. 
Okay, so that excursion did not work out the way I thought it was going to. Um, turns out, subsequent station does not carry one day rail passes, so I'll have to take a, uh, get a single pass to um, Shibuya and buy it then. But I'm in the drugstore right now because I need an umbrella because it's raining. And it, it was fine at first, but then it started getting really wet, so I'm like, Umbrella. kind of weird. It's really good. It's like a filled with pudding. and we missed the train because we didn't know which one we were supposed to be on so now we have to wait so oh, so we're nice. I know so we're sitting on the floor waiting for the next train <laughs> <laughs> 